Hi, I'm Vinodini. Welcome to the Life in Code YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about test automation. I'm going to give you some essential tips for test automation if you are a beginner. I hope this video will help you your preparation on ISTQB test automation engineer advanced level certification. And this is the first video of the series. Hope you will stay with me till the end of this series. Let's start with the agenda. These are the topics that I'm going to talk about today. The first one is what is test automation. The second one is test automation process or VWAP system under test. What are the test ways? How to test automation tool interact with system under test and tips on test automation objective advantages, drawbacks and limitation. Why we need test automation? When we answer this question, we can start from what is software testing. Without software testing, we cannot release a product into a market as it will cause lot of issues and it will be cost will be high. Testing by testing a software, you could gain lot of advantages. Main advantage is minimize the bugs and minimize the errors. Then what is software testing? Software testing is a systematic process of evaluating a software application or a system and ensure that it meets specific requirement and function as intended. However, Repeating activities in software testing, such as regression testing, make your life miserable. Not only that, it is not a cost-effective approach, and also it will be a time-consuming approach as well. Since it's involved with a lot of customer perspectives, there could be human errors as well. So as a solution for this, most of the project has introduced test automation for their testing process. For look the test automation, it has a lot of advantages. So in this session, we are going to discuss about that. What are the advantages, disadvantages, and limitation. Also, if you want to read on this more, I have written an article Links are given in the description. You can follow them. Okay. Let's start with what is test automation is. What is test automation? Test automation is the use of a specialized tool to control an execution test and compare the actual outcome with the expected outcome. What does it mean? What is the what does it mean? What is this specialized tool? We call this specialized tool a test automation tools. We use test automation tools to set up the automation test suit and execute and control it. And also once we get the outcome, we will compare the outcome with the expected results of that script. Right. There are three main steps in test automation process. The first step is using a test automation tool. Set up the preconditions, main script, and control this precondition. And the step two is execute of the execution of the test. The step two is execution of the test. And the step three is compare the actual outcome with the expected outcome that we have defined in the precondition. Then let's learn about system under test. 
the system under test. What is system under test? It is target system or application being tested. Different type of system such as web application, desktop application, mobile application, APIs, database system are available as a system under test. For each of these system, we have different type of tool to automate. So as example, if we take web application, most commonly used tools are Selenium, Cypress, and Playwright. If you take a desktop application, we can use Epium, SQLX. And if you take the mobile application, you can use Appium, XU, XUI text, Expresso as a commonly used automation tool. For the API test, we can use Postman, Rest Assured, or SOAP UI as a automation tools. Likewise, we can we have separate tools for each system type and we can ensure the compatibility and reliability of the tool on each system and we can choose the correct tool. Let's look at test pairs. What is test pair? So test automation is a mechanism of running a test suit. You know already know that. We it has minimum user human interaction maybe without user interaction other than the running test without human interaction there is a process along along with this test automation it's called designing of test fair so we can we have different test fairs we have softwares documentation designing and test case designing test environments and test data it is essential for the success of the automation testing process to have a well designed test where let's look at how automation tool interact with system under test we are the api it's mean testing through the public interface we are the GUI testing through the user interface, which mean, which include GUI testing and CLI testing. Also through the service or protocol. We, these are the main three ways that we use to interact with the system under test. Let's look at test automation objective. First one is improving test efficiency. The second one is providing wider function coverage. Reducing total cost is the next one. The third other one is performing tests that manual testers cannot do. And also we can say shorten the shorten the test execution period, increasing the test frequency and reducing the time required for the test cycle. Because since it's automated, we don't need to spend much time on it. We can just execute the suit against the various type of software, various type of versions uh, in the same functions. Let's look at advantages of doing test automation. We can increase the test volume. That's the main thing and we can expand the testing possibilities. Also, we can handle the complexity and faster the test execution, and also reduce the operate error or human errors. Also, we can optimize the resource utilization in terms of human beings and in terms of digital resource. Quick feedback, and loop with quick feedback loop also we can enhance the system reliability 
consistency in testing. These are the main advantages of doing test automation. Let's look at what are the drawbacks of test automation. Are there any drawbacks? Let's see. Inability to automate all this test. Yes, we cannot automate everything. There are some scenarios which we cannot automate because we are automating the things that we can interpret by the computer. The rest of the things we cannot automate. The other one is limitation to machine in, in interpretable results. Limitation. Verification by automated test oracle. When verify the results also, we have to define the expected outcome. If there's an other outcomes, we might have an issue of verifying them. Then, okay. And this is not a replacement for exploratory test. Exploratory testing, testing everything. This is not a replacement. This is the replacement for repetitive test. Okay, let's see what are the limitations in automation. Not all manual tests can be automated. The automation can only check machine interpretable results. Also, the automation can only check actual results that can be verified by the automated test oracle, as we mentioned in the drawbacks. Not a replacement for exploratory test. Thank you and subscribe to my channel stay tuned for this next video in this series and check out other videos as well thank you